Let's understand the process of spermatogenesis. Now, as we understand the process of gametogenesis, it can be explained under two ways. One is spermatogenesis, the other is oogenesis, which we would understand in a separate lecture. Coming on to spermatogenesis, it is the process of formation of sperms in testes after puberty. And this occurs in seminiferous tubules. Now, when in seminiferous tubules, uh, the lining is mainly the germinal epithelial and this germinal epithelial consists of the primoidal germ cells and these primoidal germ cells are important along with the Sertoli cells both of these which are present in the germinal epithelial are cuboidal and they actually help in the formation of spermatides as well as spermatozoa. Now, four sperms are produced in one spermatogenial cell and the process of spermatogenesis undergoes four different major phases. Those are multiplication, growth, maturation and spermiogenesis. Coming on to the first phase, when the primoidal germ cells occur at maturity, they divide initially by the process of mitosis, later the process of meiosis occurs. So this is where the spermatogonium or 2N cells are produced. Now this spermatogonium cells are A type as well as B type. A type serve as stem cells. However, B type cells serves as the precursor for the sperms. So those serve as a precursor for sperms. So two types of sper uh, spermatogonium which are produced which are stem cells A and uh, the, the type A which are the precursor for formation of stem cells, type B which are meant for the formation of sperms. Then it starts the growth phase. Now here type B which are meant for the formation of sperms actively grow and a large primary spermatocyte is produced along with the nourishment for the Sertoli cells. The next is the maturation phase. Now each primary spermatocyte undergoes two successive meiosis. So this is the stage where meiosis occurs. Prior it was the process of mitosis. So as we said mitosis followed by meiosis occurs. Now here the process of meiosis takes place and secondary spermatocytes are produced which are N, haploid. However, primary spermatocyte and spermatogonium are diploid that is 2N. Clear? The next important thing is after the formation of spermatocytes, there are spermatids which are formed and they are how much? They are four in number. So four spermatids are formed and then finally is a stage of uh, differentiation where spermatids from the spermatozoa differentiate and sperms in around 64 days take place. Now, if we talk about the structure of a sperm, that is again important. A sperm is microscopic, it is motile, uh, viable for 24 to 48 hours, now has a head, a neck and a tail, the middle piece and the tail. So head actually contains the acrosome and the posterior nuclei acrosome contains sperms li uh, sperms lying for uh, lysines for uh, egg penetration that happens during the process of fertilization the neck ne the next part is neck now neck is relatively short it connects the head to the middle piece and finally there is the tail. So neck is the connection point and it gives rise to the axial filament of the sperm. The next is the middle piece. It is the place where mitochondrial uh, spirals are present and therefore they are called as the powerhouse of the sperm. So middle piece is called as the powerhouse of the sperm and then there are unknown functions at the end. The next is the tail which is extremely longer as compared to the head and um, this is extremely important because it helps in the movement. The final important process which is the release is the spermiation and this is the release of sperms from the Sertoli cells. So Sertoli cells when the uh, sperms release this process is known as spermiation. Now sp sperms when released are stored in epididymis and upper portion of vasa deferens for up to one month where they get nutrition from the epithelium of the epididymis. So epididymis is the region where the sperms are stored. Now spermatogenesis is 
uh, actually happening why because of the function of the growth hormones from hypothalamus the signal going to interior pituitary and in the testes there is the lh and the fsh now lh leads to lydding cells acts on the lydding cells and secretes testosterone testosterone helps in the development of the reproductive organs the next is fsh which acts on the sirtuli cells and increases uh, the secretion of abp stimulates spermatogenesis and inhibit it also uh, as we mentioned stimulate the process of spermatogenesis so abp uh, what is the function for abp abp concentrates the testosterone in the seminiferous tubules that's a very important role for abp again important and what is the role for inhibin as the name suggests it suppresses it inhibits the fsh uh, synthesis and therefore inhibin is important and provides a negative feedback to the hypothalamus so those are the various important processes involved under spermatogenesis genesis i hope this lecture was useful and we'll be covering oogenesis in our next lecture stay tuned